The Department of Justice announced Sunday that special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation did not find evidence that President Donald Trump's presidential campaign conspired or coordinated with the Russian government in the 2016 presidential election. Further, Mueller did not exonerate the president of obstructing justice, according to Attorney General William Barr, who said his summary sets out evidence on both sides of the question. Point 1124 p.m. MSNBC host Ari Melber says House Democrats must accept that Mueller did not find a chargeable election conspiracy and there will be no additional indictments. Some people want those charges because they just think they are true, they expected that there would be a chargeable conspiracy after hearing so much about Trump publicly asking for Russia's help and his aides going to meetings, Melber said, according to Mediate. Other people, let's be real may just hope for charges that challenge the legitimacy of this very controversial president. Those motivations are not what guides our justice system. 1103 p.m. MSNBC analyst not happy tonight. 10:49 p.m. WikiLeaks says no one from Robert Mueller's team or any other element of the US Dodge ever approached WikiLeaks or its staff for information. Point 1032 p.m. Ready for more. 10:12 p.m. After Mueller concludes no Trump campaign Russia collusion occurred, Democrat National Committee head Tom Perez asks if President Trump was compromised by Russia. 8:56 p.m. Meadows discusses pardons with Politico. It is too soon to have discussions of pardons, but many of us who have a deeper understanding of what transpired and the motivations surrounding General Flynn's case believe justice would be served with extreme leniency from the sentencing judge. Point 8:32 p.m. Representative Mark Meadows, our North Carolina, echoes former Governor Chris Christie, our New Jersey, says it's not a prosecutor's job to exonerate a subject they either uncover evidence or they don't. 7:39 p.m. A senior White House official tells the Daily Mail that they haven't witnessed the president this happy in months. It's like election night again. 7:36 p.m. Senator Diane Feinstein, D California, calls Barr's summary of the Mueller report inadequate. Point 7:24 p.m. Vice President Mike Pence issues a statement on the Mueller report summary's findings. Today is a great day for America, President Trump and our entire administration. After two years of investigation and reckless accusations by many Democrats and members of the media, the special counsel has confirmed what President Trump said along. There was no collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia during the 2016 election, the vice president said. The attorney general also confirmed that there was no obstruction of justice. This total vindication of the president of the United States and our campaign should be welcomed by every American who cherishes the truth and the integrity of our elections. He continued, in the days ahead, the American people can be confident that the president and our entire administration will continue to focus where we always have on the issues most important to our country. We can only hope that Democrats, who have spent so much time on these discredited allegations, will join us to advance an agenda that will make our nation even more prosperous and more secure for every American. Point 7:11 p.m. President Donald Trump returns to the White House from Mar-a-Lago. I just want to tell you that America is the greatest place on earth, he told reporters.